home had just begun. And Mr. Wine joining me now again live on the phone from Kampala. As I said, we spoke this time last week. You were under siege then and you say you are still under house arrest. Just describe what you mean by that. Who is it penning you in and on whose orders, sir? And thank you very much. On the 14th of uh, January, immediately after casting my ballot, the military and the police surrounded my house. And uh, right from the 15th, nobody was allowed to come in, and I was also blocked from leaving. Even when my wife tried to access the garden to get some food, she was assaulted by the military. Uh, this has been... They are happening all along. I was blocked by the military from going about my campaign. But because uh, General Seven is aware that he lost his election flat, that's why I am being kept under illegal detention. I am not allowed to meet my family. I'm not allowed to meet my doctors. And all my lawyers have been turned away from meeting me. You say that you've had an 18-month-old little one with you um, and that you have no food. How are you coping? We actually, I posted uh, a picture of myself and my wife and the 18-month-old baby when we were starving. That is when the military allowed my lawyers to come in and evacuate the baby. So I'm glad to inform the world the baby was evacuated yesterday when my lawyers were very briefly allowed to come in. My lawyers also filed uh, before the High Court a case of habeas corpus and uh, asking the court to order the military and the police to present my wife and me in court if we have a case to answer. And the court, the High Court of Uganda, said that they are going to determine our fate on Monday, whether or not we are allowed uh, to leave our home. But in the meantime, our house is surrounded by hundreds of soldiers, and they've even jumped over the fence and have taken control of our compound. Everybody is harassed. My security guard was beaten and made to roll in the, in the mud by the, police, by the soldiers that are surrounding us and keep, keeping us captive. So you are saying that on Monday you expect to be taken to court to hear charges? Is that what I understand? I can't, the line isn't great. Just explain what happens next as you understand it. I'm sorry, the lines are breaking and uh, the internet is also blocked, but I hope you can hear me. I said that my lawyers took a case in court four days ago, but the court has said it will only deliver uh, a judgment mm. about my case mm. on Monday. My lawyers were, at, were challenging and they still challenge my illegal detention in my house because it is not anywhere anchored in the law. This detention in my house is illegal and my lawyers are questioning that if there's a case for me and my wife to answer, then we should be uh, presented before a competent court. Mm. Bobby Wine, people will be wondering as we speak, if the internet is blocked and your phones are blocked, um, how was it that you were able to do the Facebook Live earlier? Actually, the internet has been relieved, it has been restored in all of Uganda. But as soon as I started mm. doing the Facebook Live, it was cut short because there are helicopters hovering around my compound. I was supposed to do this mm. CNN interview on Skype, but even Skype has been cut off and the whole internet was cut off. That is why you cannot see me. That is why I am doing this interview on a telephone. And I'm also using this telephone because it is not known to the authorities. My real phone line and the phone line of my wife and the house line have all been blocked. Mm. And, and I have to say, um viewers Bobby Wine was supposed to appear by Skype um, today on this show but it was uh, impossible to get a, a, a to get a decent shot up on uh, on that facility so so we are now speaking by phone Bobby CNN spoke to Museveni's senior press secretary Don Wanyama 
He implied that the president knows nothing about your detention. And he said, and I quote him here, why would he? Wanyama said, stop misevenizing everything. Talk to the police. Do you believe that? Well, in the Uganda we live in, everything is in the firm control of General Museveni. All the state institutions are being taken over by General Museveni. The police, the military, the media, every state institution, including the courts of law. And that is why there is a saying that there is an order from above. Mm. Nobody, no institution is independent. That is why the police is waiting for orders whether or not to follow the law. Otherwise, if the police was supposed to um, keep law and order like it is mandated by the law, then the police would have taken me in a legal detention facility because my house is not a gazetted detention center. And indeed, the courts seem to be waiting for the orders of General Museveni because if that was the case, then the courts would not wait for eight days of my detention. They would have done their noble duty. But no institution seems to be working. Everything begins and ends with General Museveni because it is his orders that work in Uganda and not the law. Jake Sullivan, the national security advisor for the new U.S. president, Joe Biden, has criticized what is happening. What evidence do you have of that that you can share with us? What evidence do you have? And I have been sure carried out in the dark. And even if the United States and European electoral observers were blocked from observing this election, we were able to obtain outstanding and very, very strong evidence. We have declaration forms um, that prove that what the Electoral Commission announced as the final result, we are not anywhere near the reality that took place. We have proof in terms of declaration of results forms proving that we indeed defeated General Museveni by far. And we have also very, very many videos that show the military uh, seeking ballots and stuffing them in the boxes. We have videos of the military putting the voters on gunpoint and ordering them to tick General Museveni. Not ticking in secret, but ticking on the boxes and on the, on the desk when everybody was watching. We also have videos of uh, the military and police turning away uh, our agents from the uh, polling station. All this we Bobby Wine, let me, just, let me just stop you there. Let me just stop you there for a moment, because I do want to just ask you this one question, and I'm running out of time here, and I worry that your phone will go down. Uh, there has been criticism by the Ugandan government uh, of the U.S. meddling in Uganda's internal politics. What do you say to that? Well, General Museveni does not want any international, um, you know, scrutiny. He does not want any human rights uh, claims. When the United States is sponsoring the military, that is a curry then. But when they call him to account in terms of human rights, then he does not want to hear that. I must also use this opportunity to mention that there is every effort by the armed forces and the police to block us from challenging this election in court. That is why they are going around abducting and arresting all right. our agents. And that is why they are keeping me under house arrest to make sure that they, they provide a time where we, are not, we, where we are supposed to challenge this fraudulent election in court runs out. That's why they're holding me right. under house arrest. They don't want me to challenge it in court. They don't want me to raise any challenge until the time is out. Bobby Wine, live on the phone uh, from what he describes as house arrest in Uganda. You're watching CNN. We will be right back after this. Of all the companies on the Fortune 500...